let me also test this to a video what we have is the video.mp4 let me also test to this video all right so this is going to be my real time object detection so let me make the heading this is my real time object detection okay so first let's me create a video let me that is cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture and here we need to provide the path of the video which is my video dot mp4 video dot mp4 now create a while loop which is while true and red comma frame is equal to cap dot read if we are unable to read the video then we need to break the loop so f red equal to equal to false this is my false then i need to say like you no know, print unable to read video all right then i need to break the loop if it is if you can able to read a video then what you have to do is we need to get the predictions which is prediction which is red image is going to be equal to from yolo dot predictions and we need to pass the frame all right now this is going to be equal to cv2 now, now let's show the image which is cv2 dot m show and here this is my yolo and what i want to do is that i just simply need to pass the red image okay now let's say if cv2 dot wait key and just give the one second delay and if you press escape which is nothing but 27 then i need to break the loop now cv2 dot destroy all windows and also cap dot release now execute it here we go this is what the predictions what we have this is really cool and awesome what you can see is that we can really able to detect the persons people in real time that's really super cool and awesome right let's look into our predictions and enjoy the video awesome right this is how we can do the real-time object detection i hope you really enjoy this entire lecture series if at all you can't able to do this and getting some kind of errors please post the questions in the q a form and some of you maybe myself will review your code and give you the suggestions so that you can also get the same output what i am getting Please write a review on our course because that will be very, very useful for our upcoming courses. Alright, until then, happy learning.